All right. Let's check this out here. Bling bling. Hmm. She's here. Grab the phone. I think given that we just see that hand, I think it's okay. I was wondering if we are, you know, let's just send the frame. There's so much emptiness. I was going to say, what if um, you would put, you know, the phone here-ish. But then if she brings her arm, then we see already the body, which is a bit weird too. Um, it's just such a huge phone. So I will probably say it's okay. Comes in, grabs the phone. It just feels really hard still. How, bow, like how hard you hit the phone on her ear. Also, the arm comes over and gets to her ear. When it gets there, the whole body animation stops. So it's very pose to pose. Here's a pose, here's a pose. And you go in between the two. So you're going to have to do something where she gets to this point soften how quickly she gets that phone to the ear and when that phone is on the on the ear then you will continue with a little bit of rotation in the body and maybe her head turns a bit more and a bit up a bit you have to layer which parts come to a, a stop just like which parts start right and she thinks here which is good her arm is a lot better that's pretty good this is a bit weird when she gets to here it's kind of, it's almost IK, but there's something about she moves forward while this arm bends back here to here. Again, it feels very pose to pose. Here's a pose, here's a pose. So again, you got to offset sections of the body. I'm not sure if you need this. I'm not quite sure what she's doing behind the phone here. That stopped there and you're almost overextending the arm, almost looks like. And then it comes out, so maybe when she puts that down, she can take that arm and keep it up here to get into this. This feels a bit weird back there. And at the end, she gets very weird where A, she, like her eyes are locked again. Like there are no eye darts, there's no blinks. She just feels like a puppet, a dead puppet. And then that massive turn feels like there's just a rotation in Y in the root without taking any steps, there are no weight shifts, there's no breakup in the chest. It's just one big piece that turns. And you want to break it up between the chest, uh, the pelvis, uh, pelvis chest and the head. So that's a bit funky there. And then coming back to this one, better, I don't know, it still has that massive feel of her roots in a graph header that goes forward, stops, forward, stops, forward, stops. And you want to soften that a bit more like that where it comes down and it doesn't full stop kind of continues to go forward goes back again so it has him always a slight dip just doing a massive stop through here it's better though but you can still soften it this feels also a bit IK it looks like IK arms the way those wrists are rotating it's a strange, again, post to post thing where that arm goes down and the and the, the wrist counters by rotating up and it comes to a stop exactly when the arm comes to a stop. So it again feels very post to pose with IK there. Is this a lens or a translate? Looks there wouldn't be that much parallax through here. Just so make sure you're you're changing just the FOV in your camera, the lens. You don't do a translate. There's a feeling of a, maybe a lens and you translate up. I don't know what you're doing here, but just make sure it's only only a, a, a lens change. And then you're going to focus on this, which means that you're going to start rotate up to her face. Right? To reframe this, you want to... That's the camera, that's the girl. You would stay here and just rotate up and over to get to this frame. She sees that the thing is gone. Again, same thing here. These guys are very pose to pose. They're very twins. They all move at the same time. There's no offset. Her arms are moving down while her jaw just moves up. And the jaw is just very, very even in timing. 
It should probably close it here, but then you got this big compression here that feels like almost like an old person without. This feels better. I kind of like this. I kind of. Mm. The problem with that is that your your lids are just massively angled. Like your eyelids need to be. They have a curve. Like the curvature on the on the lids need to be like this, but you don't want this to be like that. That feels fairly broken. So you want that lid to be at a normal angle, and then the emotion of hmm or whatever that's being done through eyebrows. All right. So one thing that I keep seeing though in all of your submissions was I don't see in your email you're saying that you're fixing, but I don't know you know what else you're doing here, how far into you are. So for instance, on something like this, on her arms, or in the previous shot, like I don't know if you're just not that far along, and you know that you have to offset these, but even when you lower her arms, there's nothing in her shoulders. And you remember the first shot when she opens the fridge and she grabs something. Every time there's an arm movement, you got to make sure that the shoulder gets involved. And because of that, the chest gets involved and so on and so on. So there's something that I'm noticing that every shot seems to have the same notes, right? So if you have a character, it's my character, and you move, let me change color here, to be fancy. If you have the arm that goes up, it has to involve the shoulder. And because of that, it's going to involve the chest, the hips, and that to a certain extent, right? But it's going to phase out to a point where you might have most of the movement here, definitely a lot more in the in the shoulder, a bit more in the chest, barely in the hips, and almost nothing in the arms, definitely a lot more in the head. So that type of body mechanic, uh, I just don't see in your shots. Also, again, when she moves stuff around, like her arms at this point, like a lot of times I mention breaking up things where you got to look at things have to be offset for asymmetry. And you also want to separate the, the head, chest, and pelvis through the neck here uh, so that it doesn't feel pose to pose. You want to change your pose and then you have to look at which body part is leading. And then you have to offset things. And But I'm seeing these notes on every shot. So at this point, if you submit something like this, technically, you know, all the shots that I've given from previous, uh, all the notes that I've given from previous shots should be applied to this. So you, sh you should already have a pass with offsets, no twinning, no even timing. These are all linear keys. Like, you know, how, how you, the jaw goes up and your arms go down in the graph editor, it looks like this. It's, that's your curve versus some ease in and out. You know, so all those things... At this point, I shouldn't really repeat myself. I mean, obviously, I will, and I want to give you the notes. But it's just, I'm slightly confused as to why those issues come up in every shot. So I would highly recommend that you take note of what I'm telling you, right? So I have a bit of a, a hit list. I got to look at this, 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 and this. And then every time you do a shot, you do, okay, well, did I do this? Yes. Did I do this? Yes. Oh, I didn't fix this. Let me, let me fix this. Okay, I did this. And then you can go down the list and say, okay, I addressed all of those things. Now I'm ready to submit. Right? And now I can send the clip for feedback. So offsets, asymmetry, linear timing, breakup of body parts, all that stuff should be in your blocking pass. Because otherwise, it feels more like a layout pass, which is fine, technically. But then you got to note that in the email, because I'm just not quite sure if you know that something's not quite there yet, or... Or if something is just not quite clicking when I give the feedback, so that you you know so you would implement it in the next shot. Anyway, slightly confused. Let me know what your process is. Uh, there's just a couple of things that I feel at this point you shouldn't do anymore, given all the previous notes. I hope that makes sense. If not, let me know. Email me. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.